Hey everyone, I'm your host Stephanie. Today, we're going to talk about storyboards. Storyboards are a key step to the planning process. Scripts aren't just filmed and put onto the screen. There's a step in between. That step is planning and choosing how the shots will look. The storyboard is a step of the process. It's a visual look into your mind and your ideas. Instead of just winging it and filming the script as you go, a storyboard shows you how the script will look when it's being filmed. Why don't we just cut to the chase and explain storyboards? About 15 seconds. Stand by on 12. Three, two, one. Music, mic, yours. The storyboard process starts after the script has been written and before filming starts. That's because you need the script to start storyboarding and you need the storyboard to start filming. The storyboard itself is going to look almost like a comic book. You know how comic books have panels? So do storyboards. All of the sequences you want to film will be broken down into storyboards panels. That's why it's an essential part of the planning process. It shows you shot by shot what you're going to film. About 15 seconds. Stand by on 12. Three, two, one. Music, mic, yours. You create a storyboard by sketching or drawing exactly what you're thinking of filming. The drawings don't have to be perfect. No one's expecting you to be Leonardo da Vinci. If your sketching skills aren't the best, you can add a description to the panel. Add a few words that help describe the action in the scene. You can also include any specifics about the shot. This is your plan, remember? Do you want it to be a wide shot or a close-up? That kind of information can and should be included in the storyboard. It's how you give other people a look into your brain and your ideas. Don't shy away from using arrows either. Arrows can be used to describe the direction the camera or characters are moving. Like I said earlier, it doesn't matter if you're not Leonardo da Vinci. All that matters is the storyboard conveying your vision. About 15 seconds. Stand by on 12. Three, two, one. Music, mic, yours. There are actually two different types of storyboards. The first type is known as the traditional storyboard. Traditional storyboards are what we looked at earlier. They're basically sketches with helpful information and arrows for direction. The other type of storyboard is known as the thumbnail storyboard. This type of storyboard doesn't have any writing. This type of storyboard isn't used as often as the more detailed traditional storyboard. That's because the more detail you have in your storyboard, the easier it will be to film your vision. It's all a big plan after all. About 15 seconds. Stand by on 12. Three, two, one. Music, mic, yours. To some filmmakers, the storyboard is just as important as the script. One of the best directors of all time, Alfred Hitchcock, was known for his storyboards. His storyboards were so detailed and so precise that he thought actually filming was more boring. Yep, you heard that right. He thought shooting the movies was more boring than drawing his storyboards. Look, I'm not saying you have to love the storyboard process as much as Hitchcock. I'm also not saying you have to be as detailed in your drawings. What I am saying though, is that you can take your storyboard seriously. Take your storyboard seriously, plan out your shots, and share your vision with the whole world. It's the best way to plan.